Before we perform our move on our back in this position, which we'll call supine, we have to find neutral spine. So I'm going to ask Meshi to place her feet hip width apart and she can figure out how her feet are hip width apart by placing her fingers again on her hip bones and running from the hip bone up to the knee. We're going to make sure that our feet and knees are hip width apart and a good way to do this is by putting our feet together and opening our feet and then matching our heels to our toes and relaxing the feet <laughs> and then you'll find that we are hip width apart. We're going to lie the arms down by the side nice and relaxed and draw the shoulder blades back and down and melt as if they're melting down onto the mat keeping the relaxation. We also need to make sure our rib cage, the back of our rib cage, is down on the mat. We want to lengthen the ears away from the shoulders, imagining that we have a grapefruit underneath our chin. Also, you can imagine that somebody is pulling a string from the back of the head and just pulling your head away from your shoulders. The next area we're going to look at is the abdominal area. We want to have a little bit of a curve under the lower back. And the way we find this perfect curve is by imagining a marble between our tummy button and our pubic bone. And we're going to tilt our pelvis so our marble rolls between our legs. So we're going to tilt, lifting our back up as far as we can, and then tilt the other way, pressing our back down onto the mat as far as we can. So the marble rolls this way and this way. And we want to settle so the marble is balanced nicely between our tummy button and our pubic bone. So just tilt your pelvis and slightly back down. Good, keeping the rib cage down on the mat. That's very important. And we're going to rest in our neutral spine.